All right, welcome folks. I'm going to be doing a demo today of getting into what was formerly known as Killer Tracks. It is now known as Universal Production Music, and it's our download soundtrack website that we utilize for our Poway High School digital media production class, uh, broadcast journalism class, and sound production engineering class. They are already pre-recorded sound scores in a large database that we can download um, where there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of tracks. Um, today, I'm going to show a demo based upon the assignment that I have for Digital Media Production 1, which is called Killer Tracks Project, which is 15 points. So here's the project layout. I'm going to click on this link. What students are asked to do is download after searching through universalmusic.com's website. Um, six different audio tracks, a melancholy ballad track, so you have to define what that is, melancholy and ballad. Uh, second is a circus or carnival track, which I'll demo today. Um, third is a high, or maybe I'll, you know, I'll demo a high-speed car chase today, which I think will be kind of fun. There's a few parameters in that. Fourth is a comedy track with no drums. Fifth is a drama track with no drums. And sixth is a horror track with no drums. Once the... Um, Tracks have been downloaded to your computer from Universal Music, which I'll demo. You're going to want to upload them to your SoundCloud account and then copy and paste that URL and send that to me. So the website is here. We're going to click on that. The username is rkakele at powerusd.com and the password is capital R-K-A-E-C-H-E-L-E. -E. So we are going to click on the website, getting us to Universal Production Music. Dot com. Now, if I were to be logging in, because right now I'm already logged in, right? In my account, I'm already currently logged in. So I'm going to log out real quick so that you can see the process in having to log in. So getting to the homepage of Universal Production Music, music is universal, this is the homepage, I would want to log in. So there's a bit of a freeze. I'm going to unfreeze it. There we go. I just had to hit the refresh button. That can happen from time to time. And in the upper right hand corner, the first step is going to be to log in and register. So I'm going to hit my login and register and type into the email address my rkakely at powerusd.com, put into my password that was listed, and hit log in. So once I'm logged in, I can see up here in my upper corner, it will tell me if I want to log out. I don't. So next, what I want to do is search on this search bar what type of music I'm after. Now remember, this is, for this next track, I want to get a high-speed car chase. A high-speed car chase. So high-energy car chase would probably be, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, it's either going to be really high-energy techno music or really high-energy rock music. And you can decide on which style of music you're after to begin with. So I'm probably interested in rock music. I'm going to go R-O-C-K as a genre filter to start with. And I hit enter. So right off the bat, out of the database of Universal Production Music, there's about 12,737 audio tracks that are rock. Now, as I look over here to the left-hand side, this is a added filtration database as well so the, in this uh, added filtration i can set in new parameters to filter this number of 12,737 down to a smaller number that's easier to find keep in mind you don't want to grab just the first audio tracks off the top a lot of lazy editors will do that and they'll grab the first audio tracks and you'll end up hearing them in a lot of lazy videos <laughs> so that's just that's what ends up happening so remember, you can go here to version type and you can click the arrow to the left of version type. It usually takes about five seconds for it to react in and open up because it's got such a large database to look at. So I did just click on it just a moment ago. And there it is. So vocal leads, I'm not going to go with that. I'm not going to play around with vocal leads. And there's a lot more to it. There's vocal leads, backing vocal. Oh, instrumental. Yeah, oh, by the way, I don't want audio tracks that have vocals in them. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to go with just instrumental tracks. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. And what that'll do is it'll take my 12,000 tracks and filter it down to 
11,000 tracks. So that's one filtration. I'll move out of version type there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to, and boy, is it a slow engine to move with. Um, instrument. Is there an instrument type that I want to mess with? I'm going to say no. I don't really need to separate out instruments. However, what would that look like? Let me click on instruments right there. Again, this is quite a slow moving connection. The website right now seems to be moving quite slowly in terms of operation. Okay, there it goes. So I can find stringed arrangements, keyboard, ensembles, percussion, bass, strings, brass, woodwind. You know, when you want to get specific with the instrument type, you have that ability to filter those. I'm not that interested in it. So I'm going to close that back up by hitting that little arrow to the left of instrument. And this is how long it's taking to react. Genres. Do I need to go into genres? Let's take a look at genres. Genres would be considered rock, pop, dance, blues, country, r and I've already got a genre selected, which is rock. But you know what's funny is you can go into, say, for example, rock and find a more specific style of rock. So this is good. If I'm after a different style, like let's say, for example, um, my high-speed car chase is in a surf classic movie or it's happening near the beach. Maybe I want it to be surf rock, not heavy metal or grunge or hard rock classic. I want surf rock. So I'm going to click surf rock, hit the plus sign next to that. What that'll do is it'll add that to my parameters of filtration and filter my tracks down to approximately 277 tracks. There we go. All right, I like that filtration idea. So I'm going to close back up genre. If it'll let me. And close back up that rock option. And again, a delay of five seconds. I have to have some patience, which is strange. Okay. And I think that's about it. You know, there was other there were other filters, and the challenge is now because I've filtered it down to such a far reach. You know, the thing that I would like to mess with though is oh, there we go. The thing that I would like to mess with. <laughs> oh my goodness it's gotten a little wicked crazy by highlighting and then freezing the thing that I would like to mess with there we go is tempo because remember that this is a high speed car chase so I want my tempo if I click the arrow next to tempo and I'm not even going to mess with mood or genre but mood is if you know if, if I was dealing with melancholy drama that's where I would find melancholy melancholy is a type of sadness so I'd find it under sadness um but I'm not on that, and I don't need a mood type for this. I just need a, a speed, a tempo. So I'm clicking that arrow next to tempo, and I need something that's really fast because it's a high-speed car chase. So I'm going to filter my 277 tracks down to, it looks like, 71 tracks because I just clicked fast. It threw that parameter in as a filter, and now it's going to get my audio tracks where I started off at about 12,000 down to about 71 now. All right, now we're ready to kind of click on some of these tracks here and see what we got. Let's go after Surf Hero. I'm going to hit play button on this line. And also, what is on this line? There's a play button. There's a download button. Don't, don't worry about the plus or the star. That's if you're independently working on this with your own um, um, program. And you're, you guys are working under my program. Um, so let's not worry about those. Version type though, there's five different versions of this track and we're going to hit that in just a moment. I'll show you what that looks like. But right now as I hit play, it throws the track up here in my player. You can see that there's some kind of issue with the download right now where it's lagging. Everything today is lagging on this connection and it's spinning. So once it stops spinning, I'm going to get an audio track with all the wave files and forms right here so I can look at it and listen to it. And in a way, it's kind of like a scrub bar. I can scrub along and not just listen to the intro, but I can click right to the middle of the audio track and get a good sense of where 
that audio track has its uh, high energy going. All right, what a lag. So it's still trying to preview the track. It's still kind of spinning. There's the track, there's the wave. High speed car chase, sure. I can see every time it changes and shifts in four counts, it's just, we're turning corners in this high speed car chase. Scrub forward. I'm gonna hit pause. I love it, it's got kind of a ska feel to it too. Now as I look at this track, and I click that version five right next to that track, which should open up right below it as it uh, has to register what I just said and did. It will show me five different track versions of this Surf Hero track. Now, what does that usually look like? Well, if I didn't already filter out vocals, it might have vocals to it. Um, it might give me an option for an underscore, which would be an instrumental. It might even just say instrumental. Um, it might have just uh, the instruments minus the drums. Here we go. Oh, and this is what's cool. They cut it up sometimes in 60 second, in a 60 second version, a 30 second version, or what they call a sting. A sting is like, hmm. And again, you know, Hollywood uses these, and a lot of TV shows will use these. And a sting might be the transition between two scenes in a TV show. Like Jerry Seinfeld's got do 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 and it goes into a next scene. And those noises or that little music that's in between, that's his style of music, is about mm, three to five seconds long. So that's what a sting will allow us to do. It'll be that sound. Like, let's play this little sting, see what it sounds like. So I play next to it. Seven seconds long, it's throwing it up here in the player. Let's hear how it concludes itself at the end as well. And that's it dun, dun, dun. and then it goes into the next scene stings are cool um, 30 second versions are usually set aside for commercials and so are 60 second versions and what it gives you is not a faded out end but an actual instrument end like it ends what they call cold so um, it doesn't fade all right I'm loving this man this is pretty cool so I think I'm gonna grab the full instrumental full-length version so I'm gonna hit that download button right next to it and once I hit that download button, what will happen is there'll be a pop-up box that will hop, pop up on the screen. So I've already clicked the button. There we go. And it gives me the option to either download. I'll pause that track. I can either download an MP3, which is great for an iPod or a phone to download to, but I'm not using it for that purpose. I want it to be full CD quality so because um, I'm going to use it in my films. So an AIFF is if I'm on a Mac computer and I'm using Mac software. And a WAVE is if I'm on a PC computer and I'm using PC-based software. So Final Cut Pro folks and iMovie folks are going to be using AIFF and WAVE. If you have Premiere for PC or if you have Vegas Pro for PC, that's typical. You'll use a WAVE. I'm going to use an AIFF. So I hit download. Once I hit download, so long as this doesn't take forever, it should spring, there it goes. It should spring the audio track into my download folder. It'll pop it open in my QuickTime player and it'll be in my downloads folder. And what I can do is I can, I'm gonna hit stop share on my screen and I'm gonna share for you in Finder my folder. So here's my downloads, there's my audio track my Surf Hero instrumental. Yep, that's it. So that audio track I'm gonna place into my folder on my desktop. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop. And I'm gonna put it into my period one folder. Doing this the long way because I'm sharing screen. And I'm going to put it into my Killer Tracks folder. And in my Killer Tracks folder, I've already got my Melancholy Ballad 
and I've got my high-speed car chase. Now, I do not want to change the name, the UPM SB6316 Surfer here. I don't want to change that. What I want to do is I want to add to the beginning of that by clicking on it once, clicking on it twice, clicking to the beginning, typing in high-speed car chase, space, dash. So now... I have two out of my six tracks. I need to download four more, and I've got them, and then I need to upload them to my SoundCloud account, get that, U, um, get that URL address, and that's what I'll turn in as my turned-in project when I'm done. And that, my friends, is how to download tracks from Universal Productions Music, which is formerly known as Killer Tracks.